Hello everybody <laughs> and welcome to another edition of DGT Live coming at you like Cleopatra from the central coast of California. I'm Leo along with Francisco and no Rick today. He's off on some uh, personal duties, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went to the uh, beautiful city of brotherly love, San Bernardino, <laughs> and um, he's off on a on a quest to better himself and be enlightened. Namaste. Francisco, what's up? <laughs> what's up? What's going on? <laughs> uh, I'd like to just, before I go into I what's new going phone. on. New, new phone for Mr. Frankie Five Fingers over here. Frankie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, you best be kidding, boy. Yeah, boy. You know what I'm saying, boy? <laughs> Anyways, so uh, we're here at... Oh, look. Rick's watching us. Leo's, Hi, Rick. Leo's Corner. What's going on, Rick? And if you're watching us and you want to drop a comment, do it up. We're watching you. And, we're watching uh, you. We are watching you. <laughs> that's for sure. We're checking out a bunch of different things today. So yeah. um, drop a comment. We'll be monitoring the comments. Sorry, we're late. Replying. We're a little bit late. We're in a different our, setup here because Rick didn't leave our us lips, the keys to the studio. So. Our lips are going to be moving and you're going to hear us. Oh, that's right. Because half, half a second afterwards. We have a delay. Yeah. I don't think it's working anymore. Our sound engineer couldn't be here today. He's in San Bernardino today. <laughs> sound engineer. So, um, all you see back here is real stuff. Real stuff. Real stuff? It's always real stuff. What are you it's talking about? Real stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Fun Mario stuff, cereal. Man. So, what is this, Leo? Is this a, a, an amiibo box? What is it? Have you tried the amiibo? I have not tried the amiibo. You However, can scan it here. It's, scan. it's part of the box. You just scan whatever this thing is and it's sealed, oh, you Francisco. It back? It's, Why? it's sealed. Why, Leo? Because yes, it's a collectible, Francisco. No, it's not. You already ate the cereal. That That's right. That's being a collectible when you eat it. Remember that cereal you got me from The Simpsons like a long time ago when it wasn't 7 Eleven? Yes, I do still remember. Still in there? Cereal still in there. What about the sodas? It, well, the sodas kind of like just went away. On they their evaporated. Own. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's what happened that to the cereal. That's No, cereal still in that's there. That's what no. I'm going to uh, nah. keep saying about nah. that. All right, <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's all pretty good. Cool. It's all pretty good. All right. So, so without further ado, Francisco, what did you do? Without without further ado, what you did know you what set I heard? up for us on the playlist? You know what time? I heard today, Leo, this morning? For the next 20 years, okay? The next 20 years, folks, we're going to get 17, count them, 17 Star Wars films. That's crazy. I'm a Star Wars fan, but I don't know if... I don't know. That sounds like it's going to fatigue me after a while. I'm digging the fact that we heard about, um, what's his name? Um, the, the, the writer for the, uh, game of Thrones writers being or writers, creators. Well, not the actual creators. Mm. As you know, uh, the actual creator is George R. R. Martin, but the creators for the TV series. Yeah. Um, Two dudes, I don't know if they're related. They might be related. Who the knows? Wachowski brothers? No. Sisters? Yeah, uh, no. Um, no, uh, they've been slated to do a another trilogy. Another Star Wars trilogy that has nothing to do with the Skywalker family or the Ryan Johnson uh, trilogy. Because uh, as you know, uh, Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson has also been asked to do another trilogy. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with the Skywalker family. Nothing but, to do with Ryan Reynolds as well. But you know what strikes me as kind of weird when they say that they have to specify nothing to do with the Skywalker family. But I'm assuming we're going to hear of Luke Skywalker. We're going to hear of Han Solo. We might see Chewbacca. Who knows? Probably the same ships, vehicles. So... It's not that it's the Skywalker family center, but mm -hmm. Star Wars is Star Wars, you know? So it'd be interesting to see a young, you know, Jedi uh, Padawan Yoda, you know, right. uh, learn who taught Yoda, you know, how he become the Jedi Master we all know. Mm -hmm. that's, that's interesting to me. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it uh, yeah. in some respects. I'm just hoping I don't get tired out. 17 it's films. Star Wars. 17 films in 20 look, years? Look, look, guy. Marvel. Look at Marvel. Marvel is saturating the market everywhere. Not just movies. Yeah. TV shows. Yeah. Cartoons. And I, 
I've, and I've talked to you countless of times. I, I like the Marvel films, but I'm kind of getting tired of superhero films. Really? Yeah, and getting that yeah. fatigue because they're all they all kind of follow the same pattern, same plot lines, the same, uh, the same beats, I guess you could say. Mm. And uh, I think it's it's starting to go on the decline. For my opinion, I mean, I know. People have all sorts of Pee different types of opinions, but, you know, it's just kind of, I guess, Her. moving on. Cutting that umbilical cord maybe a little bit yeah. early. You think so? Uh, I don't know. I'm still enjoying them. I'm still looking forward to a lot of movies. The best is yet I to wanna come. I want to see Black Panther. It just came out. Oh, we're we're going to talk about Black but, Panther, uh, too. I'm looking forward to it. All right. And um, Star Wars, though, man. It's going to be almost yearly. 17 movie yes for the next 20 and, years and um that's my fear just fatigue of star I'm, wars i'm all for it i love madden <laughs> i love um fifa games i really like the call of duty games as well <laughs> it's not every year <laughs> not every year not every year well it used to be every year i'd be i was fine with it but not anymore like kind i said fatigued. they have to like focus on different elements of the star wars universe. yes absolutely you know like maybe the clone yeah. troopers they have know? to have like the star wars guardians of the galaxy for comic relief yeah exactly yeah yeah i agree and what the if the jar jar binks movie and hmm? what if the guardians <laughs> were ever to join in the star wars universe i mean they're in the galaxy somewhere That's out there you know it's a possibility mm -hmm. and they both or are owned by disney so mm -hmm. it's a possibility if i mean i've never seen game of thrones but if they manage to kind of capture that lightning in a bottle again maybe keep a little with, bit of less in insisting going on well i mean keep it, <laughs> keep it pg-13 you know what i mean but um <laughs> if they they manage to kind of capture the audience like they have with their current audience, because to me that's what Game of Thrones is. It's hype from mm -hmm. people that watch it. I've heard more from the people than I have from trailers for the show or promotional materials. All right. That's what gets me excited for Game of Thrones, even though I have not seen it yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Maybe, hey. hopefully, they can... Capture that magic with Star Wars. But you remember back in, what was it, 93, 94, where there was no Star Wars whatsoever? Yes. And now all of a sudden... We were geeks know, back exactly. then because we were holding mm -hmm. on to movies from the late 70s, mm -hmm. early 80s. Yeah. And nobody else cared about them except us. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting these films in almost a yearly basis. Yeah, so I'm all for it, dude. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. I hope it works out. It will. It's just like... <laughs> Bless you! Excuse me. This just, is a live show, folks. Had to dab. <laughs> had to dab. <laughs> All right. So. Intense dab. Yeah. We want to move on to the next. Okay. Topic here. Okay. I thought you were gonna keep talking Star no, Wars. Star Wars is done. I like how you did this. You uh, no. gave us enough time. And this, this is actually kind of quick. Actually, right here. I'm, I'm used to seeing the screen over here. We don't have a screen here. So no, down here. Uh, Marvel. Speaking of Marvel, uh, ten years, dude. 10 years of the Marvel Universe, mm -hmm. they did their uh, class picture, class photo. Oh, yes, and, I saw that. And this is kind of kind, kind cool. neat that mm -hmm. they got every actor who's ever been in a Marvel film was asked to come to the uh, Infinity War soundstage. Wouldn't it have been great if you would have had Don Cheadle sit next to uh, the original character played by him? Oh, yeah, The yeah, actor, yeah. I mean. Oh, I don't think they invited that dude. Because I think that guy <laughs> left on bad oh, terms, he did, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. So the original War Machine, which never got to become War Machine. Poor War Machine. Yeah. So the only thing I, I don't agree about this crass picture here is that all the Marvel characters are there, all the actors are there, but Kevin Feige, which we're seeing right here, steps in front of Stan Lee, covers Stan Lee in the picture, and I think Stan Lee should have been front yeah, and center. Front and center. Yeah. See right here. Look at that. Look at that. That's Stan Lee, that's Kevin Feige. Mm. So I, I just barely know. see his face in yeah. it. So that's kind okay. of messed up, but it, whatever. It kind of is, but at the same time, I, I have to see it this way. Oh, uh, yeah, get uh, that out. Mr. Feige, or Feige, 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 Feige mm -hmm. um, Fergie. Fergie. <laughs> I think he's had a lot more to do with the success of the films than Stan Lee does. Stan mm. Lee is just kind of like a cameo and eh. everything. Plus, I agree with this agree. Plus, I think <laughs> he's taking too much credit for some of these characters that were created. Yeah. Well. But then again, we got the Joker. Yeah, right tricks. here, folks. The Joker, Joaquin Phoenix. Tell Joaquin us a little bit about Phoenix. that, Leo. If you haven't seen the movie Her, 
Go Her. check it out. It's an excellent movie about the future. Probably the most realistic future movie I've ever seen in my life. Look at that smile. <laughs> That's a joke. He's smile Joker if already. Seen it. Yes. The only thing about well, this movie is for those of you that haven't heard the news yet. Um, it's an origins story of the Joker. And Joaquin Phoenix has been asked, or is in top talks. Joaquin box Phoenix to has become. has been the front runner, and he has agreed to actually play the Joker if things work out as mm -hmm. far as everything else goes. You never know; nothing's ever for sure until you sign the dotted line with Hollywood. And even yeah. then, sometimes it's still not for sure. You but what's know. happening with Leonardo DiCaprio? But Leonardo DiCaprio was one of the considerations for was? this role, and Joaquin Phoenix was the front runner. They asked if he would play the Joker, and he has accepted to play the Joker. Mm -hmm. But you know, we still got the big wigs to go through, and but all signs are pointing to Joaquin Phoenix at the time, which I think would be an excellent uh, choice. But I do have to say, aesthetically, I think Leo DiCaprio would be a better choice. The only problem with him is that physically he's not that uh, tall, hmm. um, and he doesn't. Neither come is Tom Cruise. He doesn't come across as tall <laughs> in uh, in films as well. So Tom Cruise does. And uh, well, <laughs> Tom, I think Tom Cruise has a lot more to thank his yep. cinematic team than, mm -hmm. than him, his own talent. Exactly. For that one. <laughs> but anyways, um, Joaquin Phoenix. I mean, this is this is a. Origin story where you're gonna see the Joker, m hopefully more without the makeup and more in his regular everyday person mm, form, like uh, the original gangster. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Um, I, and I'm thinking about um, when he wasn't insane. The ha have you read the? I think it's called the the Killing Joke. Yep. The 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 DC mm -hmm. graphic novel mm -hmm. where there's a lot of the backstory in there for the Joker. Yep. And so I'm thinking that backstory. All right. Hopefully it'll be that stay true to the comics, but I mean, it still remains to be seen. We don't know yet. Uh, look at me talking about the comics. Yeah. I've something I actually read, read for once. <laughs> I'm usually the not comic guy, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, I mean, I would love to see that. Joaquin Phoenix to me seems like he might be a tad bit old for that because the Joker as we know in that comic He's supposed to be like in his young 20s when that's going on Joaquin Phoenix. How old is he Francisco? What do you guess? Maybe he's 40s? 50. He's gotta be hitting 50. Almost now. 50? Hmm. Yeah, so um, I don't know how this could be an origin story with him whereas Leo DiCaprio give him a good shave <laughs> and he looked like a young guy Give yeah. a nice wide shot, no, no close-ups of the wrinkles. Mm -hmm. I think he could pull off a young 20-ish uh, Joker, and then they can move the story along to when he's up in his 40s or or more. But, I mean, everything remains to be seen. We don't know for sure. Personally, I would pick Leo DiCaprio, you know, for giving the height uh, thing, you know, aesthetic of it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. All right. So, moving on. We have to talk about the Black Panther, Leo. And I think you're going to get a little ad here. Oh, no, that is the Black Panther. Um, so guess what, Leo? Mm -hmm. The Black Panther is the most tweeted motion film picture of all time. Really? What are the tweets about, mainly? Anything and everything. But uh, it has caused so much... Um, momentum mm. so much people talking about it that the black community has become very infatuated with this film and very proud of this film and it's not even out yet really yes but uh, here is a yeah. little bit of controversy about this film yeah is it so, because of the the violence against uh, black communities by yes yes or, yes or yes and no else? yes and no um the top leaders of the black community now are asking and there's a petition on change.org to ask disney and marvel to donate a percentage of every ticket sold by this movie to benefit black communities around the u.s now my question to you folks is do you think that's fair Wow. I mean, here you have the probably the first completely African-American film made I, by Marvel. 
and they feel that it's their film now. What and... I'm wondering is, <laughs> why isn't Blade in this picture? Blade was the first Marvel character to oh, hold on make it big in the movie th movie screen, you know? I got a, a, a quick shout out. Yes. Emiliano Ayala, saludos. Hola, como estas? Gracias por vernos. Oh, snap. We got a few people watching yeah. us. Here. A you're, few, you're, a few, you're usually the comment few, reader. A few of our regulars. Um, <laughs> let's see. Rick's watching us. Uh, our regulars. <laughs> Marco. Oh, you just, yeah, you just yeah. sent him a shout out. AJ Bishop's watching us. And I believe uh, Miss uh, Rosanna was watching us. She was. So, Rosa what's Fuentes. up? What's up to everybody? It's like, yeah. We'll drop comments, you know? Yeah. Talk with us. Um, yeah, so that was that's basically, I don't know, dude. They feel the need of owning I, the film. I, I guess. honestly, <laughs> I, I, I think it's. I. I know it's gonna sound controversial, mm -hmm. and especially because I don't have all the information. So take this into account when I say what I'm about to say. I I think it's like seeing another person do a lot of hard work, and at Sorry. the end of the day, going up to him as he's grab getting his paycheck, mm -hmm. yep. as he's about to receive <laughs> his paycheck because the movie's not even it's not even now yet, and saying like, <laughs> "Hey, part of that money should be mine yeah. <laughs> because because I help blah, your... blah blah blah." hand or something i don't know yeah. no because you know whatever and i'm entitled for whatever reason and i i i just you know you see how that looks bad mm -hmm. already you yeah. but considering how sensitive people are about this topic i think that anybody who stands up for i mean disney is a corporation let's face it, it, it they're there for up, making they're, they're seen as Money. the evil corp but mm -hmm. At the same time, I think of it this way: like, hey, they're putting all the effort to make entertainment know, for dude. us. And, okay, look, personally, and then people want to take the money from them in this way because I know. of look, some sort of entitlement. I, I I shouldn't tell people how to feel because you know that's everybody has the right to feel however they want to feel. But I put myself in that position, and when Rogue One came out uh, last year, was it or two years ago? I was excited to see Diego Luna in a Star Wars movie mm. and that he actually kept his accent while he was acting in the movie. It's like the first Mexican to have a, you know, a, a starring role in a Star Wars film. Right. That made me feel proud, you know, as yeah. a Mexican. And having an entire film with African-American people should, I don't know, to a point kind of have the same effect on people. But... I guess you would think not. I they mean, want money out of it. It's not like it's the <laughs> only film featuring um, African American yeah. community members. Mm -hmm. um, there's been many other films. So why is this one the one that they're pointing to? I, I would like to know that. I mean, I, it's it's, it's strange. It's kind it's of strange weird. to me that 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 would be something that that's actually and yet here we are truth you know 2018 a lot yeah. of people are overly sensitive um some of them with rightfully so mm -hmm. uh some of them are just entitled and they're kind mm -hmm. of like trying to trickle in there with the others and kind of you know ruining things for a lot of other people well, and disney should... i feel like disney should not feel uh, pressured to yeah, have to they should do it if they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, you know. The but, petition has some momentum going. Let me just but, tell uh, you that much. So, yeah, and they yeah. they know Disney's all about um, helping, you know. Well, not not community. necessarily that, but it's all about maintaining an image. Mm -hmm. And if this is what they're going for, and there are precedents for, you know, bu bullying by things, some yeah. of these organizations mm -hmm. yep. um, towards, you know, corporations. Um, so. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, how, we'll see. Ha what happens, but I don't think it's something <laughs> that should be happening. But nope. that's just my two cents. Yep. Well, All right. Well, Francisco, what else did you have for us? Let's see. What's next here? Oh, one of your favorite topics, Leo. PlayStation. Mm-hmm. And what's coming, Leo? You recently became a PlayStation, PlayStation 4 owner, yes. 4 owner. Christmas so. time. So, uh, congrats to you. Thank uh, you. There's tons of games I wish you would play. I know you're playing time Uncharted is, right now. I know your time is limited. I know mm -hmm. you're playing one of those yep. series that I recommended already, and you are enjoying. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's so much more. Um, Shadow of the Colossus just was uh, well, this released. Is, this is what we're. Um, this, this is, is the is, topic of conversation yes, here. The, the remastered version, which has, this has already been released in PlayStation Two, right? That was PlayStation, PlayStation Two. Mm -hmm. Then there was a. 
uh, HD collection or HD version released on PlayStation 3. Okay. Um, then there was then there is this version that mm -hmm. was just released. Okay. Uh, great, great reviews on it. Um, Looks cool. Some of the controls on it are a little bit outdated, even though they were uh, revised a little bit, a little mm -hmm. bit tweaked. But a lot of people are claiming they still seem a little outdated. But despite that, the game is so good, it's still garnering a lot of 9s and 10s. All right. Uh, a lot of high scores on Metacritic. Uh, so I'm excited for it. Um, beautiful, beautiful graphics. Looks cool. And um, I, I like the game. It's one of those... And they're saying that it has different things not previously released on other games of the same... It has a few game. Easter eggs. Yeah. It does. So, um, so I mean, it's... It's a game that I'm looking forward to play. Okay. Uh, I already played through half of the HD. Now, has this been remastered for the PlayStation Pro, or is it just regular PlayStation 4 graphics? PS4 Pro. Okay. Uh, and, I mean, it will play on PS4 at 1080p. Yeah, but, but I'm saying did it. But did they... uh, it does have some of the extras that you mm. see on the PS4 Pro. Um, okay. Yeah, one of cool. the most beautiful games on the console. All right. And... And Other also, than that, we're, we also have um, uh, one of my personal favorites, mm -hmm. God of War. Mr. Yeah. Kratos himself. When is this back. release? Uh, it, it finally got a release date. It yeah. releases April? April 20th. April 20th. So I'm Easter. looking forward to that. I, uh, Easter break. I already, Guess what Leo's going to be playing. Yes. <laughs> I already have my pre-order checked in there. Cool. So. We'll see. We'll see how this. You know, turns I out. I like God of War. I enjoy those games a lot mm -hmm. as well. But I don't think it's gonna be a, a day one purchase for me. Uh, if I will buy it eventually, but like you said earlier, I have a whole bunch of games to go through yes, first. Yes, I so. would recommend, especially since you have such a large backlog of great PS4 titles. I would recommend just go the lower price route, more mm -hmm. economical route, oh, yeah. and enjoy those games. A lot of those games are $10 or under. There you go. And by the time you probably get to this one in your queue, um, you'll probably end up getting it for probably half the price than what it's going to be at on day one. Oh, um, it looks really good, though. Uh, now, I'm interested to know what happened here. I mean, do you think he's a reincarnation? Do you think it's the same Kratos we know and love? or? Well, I mean... <laughs> Spoiler territory here. Yeah, at the I'm end saying. of the third um, God of War game, he, uh, he... I'm not going to say what happens, but he dies. I'm not going to say how he did it, but he dies. How did he did and, um, <laughs> and so, um, I think... Honestly, I think that the moment he became the God of War, he became a god. Because he gods, looks older here. Gods are um, immortal. Mm -hmm. So, whatever he might have done to his own flesh... Uh, mm. At the end of that series, it probably Maybe kept just, him alive. He he, he or he's immortal. He could not period. die. He's immortal, and so the I, ghost of Sparta. It seems to me, from what I've seen, the little bit I've seen from the trailers, uh, like he um, finally moved on. Mm. He probably had another relationship, ended up having a child, um, and now he feels compelled for some reason to raise this child. Oh, he in, has a scar right in there. In his godly ways. Yes, that's the scar that killed him. Mm, so, so it is it, the same one. It's a continuation. It's yeah. not like a reimagining of okay. his story. But uh, something you don't see are the Blades of Chaos anymore. Mm -hmm. um, he's going axe. more of a Norse route with that axe. Um, but we don't know exactly how this is all going to play out. Yeah. Uh, so far from what I've seen on the gameplay, I'm enjoying what I see on the gameplay. Because yeah. it seems a lot like... It's in the style of The Last of Us, in mm. the style of... Um, well, uh, how did you say God of War and that's it? And that's it. Simple. Keep it mm. simple, son. April, April 20th. 20th. So, okay. And, and, and I like the whole aesthetic of it or the whole style of it where it reminds me kind of like a a Naughty Dog game mm. or, or one of the Square Enix games with the newer Tomb Raider games. It's kind of similar to that, but harking back to that old classic style plus um i think they mentioned that they want to set it as a somewhat of a, like a 30 hour campaign so Dang. we'll see all right so leo i have to talk to you about this debacle oh, yes have you heard i i i've heard rumblings but i've never i haven't had all the details so there's gonna be a rematch of this fight that you see right here there's a catch 
It's not going to happen in Vegas, or it might happen in Vegas, but it's not going to happen in your ordinary boxing uh, arena. It's going to happen in the Octagon. Boxing match in the Octagon no. or MMA match? MMA. It's okay. going to be an MMA rematch where right here on this first fight, advantage was uh, Mayweather. Now, advantage is going to be McGregor, and it's another <sighs> circus that people are going to pay to see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I have a theory that what's going to happen here. If that were to happen for real, uh, McGregor's going to destroy Mayweather. No question. No question. So, you know what's going to happen? It's going to be choreographed. It's going to be planned. You think we're going to no. have a Vince McMahon in the mix? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a choreographed event where they're going to have Mayweather last at least a couple rounds. I don't know. Just to show, to oh give. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, spectacle. Well, you know what? <laughs> if you if you go back and see this or first match between these two, mm. the first three rounds, McGregor probably only threw one. I mean, not McGregor. Um, Mayweather, Mayweather only threw one shot. Mm. So, I mean, is McGregor gonna take it easy on him, or is he gonna try to just? completely embarrassed. I mean, you know, when you're in, in there, you know, in the heat of the moment, whatever, you, it's what you know how to do. Right. You know, he's going to go all off on him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mayweather is going to come out with a few cuts and bruises. You can you can guarantee, be sure that that's going to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you, you almost have to. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I'll I, be honest with you. I People think know this is going to be fake, dude. I, I, <laughs> like, um, oh yes, oh yes. Just like, I mean, the boxing match was mm -hmm. a circus. Yeah. Everybody knew it. Everybody mm -hmm. still bought it. Yeah. I still got hyped for it. Mm -hmm. Even though I knew what was going to happen. I, I didn't realize though, McGregor, I mean, uh, Mayweather was going to give him those three free rounds. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if a uh, McGregor returns the favor once they're in the octagon, in the cage. Yeah. So. But um, this is what I think is going to happen. What's going to happen? I think he's going to give him a minute. Yeah. I think he's going to give, give him, him a, chance, a minute. Do whatever you let want. Let him try to punch. <laughs> and then after that, he's just going to take him down. Simple choke or simple um, submission move. Mm. No, not necessarily any punches thrown. Just a simple submission so that both of them can go home with a hundred million dollars. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be a lot of money. So... Well, there you and, go. And uh, which this is just gonna lead to the question: Where gonna where are they gonna fight for the third match? Exactly, it's gonna be on a mix of, of the two. It's gonna be on top of a volcano or something. <laughs> oh man, uh, sports entertainment. There it, you go. It is. It's like reality sports entertainment, yeah. and a little bit different than what you would see in WWE. I think because yeah. at least you know you're going to see something with a predetermined outcome in mm -hmm. that, and this. It's predetermined, but not because that's how they're planning it. It's more because of that's what their skill sets are in those given situations. Exactly. Boxing, I'll take Mayweather all day. MMA, McGregor. McGregor. Yeah, Hands of course. Down. And one of your favorites, Leo. Oh, <laughs> it has just been announced. Season 2 of your favorite Marvel character <laughs> in the whole world. You mean <laughs> she had the greatest Marvel villain in the the series right is that is that what you're yeah, trying to really yeah, say sure i'm hoping the purple I, I, man I'm comes okay, back i'm okay he died dude he's dead i'm uh, i'm okay i'm okay with jessica jones i don't know i she doesn't bug me she doesn't bother me in the defenders she was a lot less annoying i'll give you that <laughs> she was a lot less annoying however in season one she was almost as bad as uh as iron fist you think so he was terrible he was a terrible mm. hero mm. but uh I mean, no, I don't know. She was just annoying, though. I think Purple Man carried the whole, uh, well, yeah, that whole first season. Yeah, he was a great villain. Um, in the trailer here, we're seeing Jessica Jones trying to figure out where she came from. Mm. Uh, where did she get that condition that made her superhuman? You know, super strength, whatever. And there's a scene or two here that she goes back to the place where she was being experimented on, mm. and apparently she was able to reverse the effect. And she lost her super strength. Hmm. Maybe momentarily. But we can see her punching a wall and bleeding like a normal person. So, I don't know. Could be interesting. Maybe it was a wall laced with uh... kryptonite. Kryptonite. Because <laughs> that's her weakness from the DC Universe. <laughs> cool. Alright. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I 
I like Marvel. I I enjoy Marvel shows. I enjoy Something them else for to the watch. most part. Um, so, it's just you know, I'm not just because it says Marvel on it. I'm I'm gonna say I like it. Mm. And season one, I I did not enjoy for the most part. There were it had its moments that yeah. were really good. Yeah. Um, but no. I want to no, see Luke Cage. No. <laughs> I want to see Luke Cage. He's coming back. Give He's, me Luke Cage. You will also have season two, um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and that's... I'm waiting for season three of Daredevil. That's what I'm waiting for. Daredevil, Daredevil yeah. season two was... All was, right. It was okay. A little bit on the disappointing side. Punisher came side. out of there. A little bit disappointing, but... March 8th, so pretty that soon. That cliffhanger at the end, bro. Mm -hmm. That one was awesome. Yeah. And... Something great came out on the internet when I first saw this, Leo. I have to say, see, and it's all Marvel. We were just talking about that Marvel is saturating the market. Um, we With a have... hint of Joker in there from yeah. DC. <laughs> so we have uh, our first look at Cable, the warrior of the future. Mm -hmm. And this trailer is great because it shows a very dramatic entrance of Cable to be introduced to Deadpool 2. And this, then this happens. <laughs> it's like, it, it, have you seen it? It's, it? I have not seen it. Oh my god. Okay, so it's basically Deadpool making fun of Cable and goes ahead and starts playing with little miniature toys of Deadpool and Cable. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm loving how clever these people are getting, and I'm assuming this all has to do with Ryan Reynolds uh, becoming Deadpool, being Deadpool. <laughs> now, I know this is a Marvel character, but this is technically not a Marvel Cinematic no. Universe film. No, this it's is a, still Fox. It's a Fox film. Mm -hmm. So, the, I mean, we were trying to discuss that too a while back about what's going to happen to this Deadpool character. If we, it will ever join the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because, you know, technically Disney now owns Fox. They still need to, you know, fill up a few uh, forms and whatnot, sign a few papers. But it's essentially Disney owned now. Mm hmm I don't think it's going to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe just because right now it's focused for families. Uh -huh. And Deadpool is anything but family oriented. Absolutely not. So, I mean, look at that. Um, Wait, we're watching the Red Band trailer? Well, this is this is the only trailer that's out right there okay. right now. So, you know, it's like you get Deadpool. That's what Deadpool is, mm -hmm. you know? So, I don't know, dude. May 18, also coming pretty soon. It looks good, but they could do so much better with that character if they were able to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Have you seen this yet? No. What are we looking at? We're looking at the Venom teaser trailer from Sony. Sony. Sony and Marvel. Okay, okay. So so this is a Marvel Cinematic Universe no. thing. No. No? Mm -mm. Sony work? Sony owns Spider-Man and yes. all Spider-Man related characters. Yes. Um, Sony allows Spider-Man to be in the cinematic universe mm -hmm. uh, in exchange for Marvel allowing Sony to do all marketing and all uh, production and selling of the movie itself, publishing and whatnot. Okay. So Marvel gets the character, but Sony gets all the money, basically. That's how it works. And they also have the right to make other movies. Um, they're saying that Spider-Man, as we know him, may make mm -hmm. a cameo on this movie. Because obviously, for those of you that know how the symbiote works, um, Peter Parker was trapped by the symbiote and it grabbed DNA um, readings, capabilities of the Spider-Man. So when he finds Eddie Brock, which yeah. is this guy right here, he knows who Peter Parker is, and he knows how to use the spider sense and all that stuff. Okay. So, so it's it's the same Spider-Man that, that we know from... Uh, we don't know yet. Oh, we don't know. The rumors are that it's probably going to be him, but then that will not explain how he's not affected by the symbiote in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. So all logic points to it being a completely different Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So it could be an alternate universe Spider-Man like Miles Morales, like any other of the Spider-Verse Spider-Man mm -hmm. and Venom. So I don't know. It's it's an interesting thing that Sony is doing. Of course, they had uh, already planned this movie way, way before they did the deal with Marvel. So they had to keep going with it, I guess. 
Man, that's nuts. And there you have him, Bane himself. So it's kind of complicated, <laughs> is what you're saying. Yeah. Well, I think um, uh, Venom is one of the more interesting characters that I've seen uh, come out of the comics. But However, Tom Hardy... it's, it's never, it's never trans. Venom has never translated well into any of the films that I've seen. Mm. including some of the cartoons, to be honest with you. Mm. It seems like one of those characters that sounds good in theory, like in the comics, still images. But in effect, I, I don't know of any situation Over. that I've seen them in full motion where it, it kind of just works. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so that's it, huh? Interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Wait and see, shall we? Anything else? No. No? Oh, just a funny bit about Tom Hardy now that I, th I, th I thought of it. Um, there's a clip on the internet making its rounds. You should go check it out where Tom Hardy puts in, hey, you know those uh, cups that you use for athletics, you know? Yes. You, okay. Puts it in his mouth and starts talking like Bane to his dog. Pretty much you're telling him, oh, like, man. you're going to eat these treats, but, you know, use, using the Bane boys. And yes. It's it's pretty funny oh, and man. hilarious. Gotta, gotta look yeah. that up. So, check it out. It's pretty right. cool. Pretty funny. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today. Until next time, this is DGT Live. Enjoy your games. Love your families. I'm Leo. Francisco. All right. Till next time. Ciao.